You just want to run through some basic rules just involving tan theta, cot theta, and how you can change them to something in terms of sine and cos, and also sec theta and cosec theta. And this will help you when you're simplifying um, expressions. So tan theta, so basically if that is theta there, and we'll call that a, b, and c. So tan theta in that expression is basically equal to a over b. Okay, so what I want to show you is that tan theta is actually equal to sine theta on cos theta. So we're just going to come over here and have a look at this. So sine theta is equal to a on c because that's opposite, opposite on hypotenuse. So it's opposite in hypotenuse. And cos theta is equal to b on c. So if I did sine theta on cos theta, basically what I'm doing is I'm doing sine theta divided by cos theta. Sine theta divided by cos theta would be a on c divided by b on c. On c, sorry. So when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocals. So it's going to be a on c times c on b. So a c on c b. And then the A's will can the C's will cancel out, and you just end up with A on B. Now you notice that that is the same. You got A on B here and A on B here. They are the same. Therefore, tan theta must be the same as sine on cos theta. So as a rule, tan theta equals sine theta on cos theta. I'll just rewrite that a little bit neater. So tan theta equals sine theta on cos theta. Now cot theta, now cot theta is 1 on tan theta. Okay, it's just a reciprocal if you go to the third letter. So in if I wanted to get cot theta, I can also say that is cos theta on sine theta because I can just flip the tan theta. Now just a little way of remembering this, okay, one good little way of remembering it, if you want to get a tan, you need to go in the sun, so that's sine, with your cosies on your bottom. Okay, and that's one way of remembering it. And then cot, if you go to the third letter, that's tan, so reciprocal that and you get cos on sine. Sec, third letter, one on cos, and cosec the letter, so that's one on sine. Now these reciprocal ratios also will work backwards. So if you have one on sec theta, okay, and you bring it up to the top, that will be sine theta, because they just flip. You go, oh sorry, it's not sine theta, cos theta, because you go to the third letter, and the third letter here is a C, so that's cos theta. And if you go 1 on cosec theta, 1 on cosec theta would be sine theta. Okay, so if you go to the third letter there, that's sine. So you can just bring it up to the top. Okay, that's excellent. So now what we can do is we're just going to use this just to simplify a few expressions. Okay, so sine theta times tan theta. So if you get the tan theta and you just change it to, um, uh, sorry, my mistake. I'll just flip that around, okay? So it's going to be sine theta times cos theta on sine theta because cot theta is a reciprocal of sine and of tan and tan is sine on cos. The same as this one, this will be cos theta times sine theta on cos theta. That's why I had to swap them around so there's actually something that will cancel. The cos theta goes with the cos theta because that cos theta is on top. The sine theta goes with the sine theta. So the first one's just cos theta and the second one will simplify to sine theta. The next one we've got sine theta over the square root of 1 minus cos squared is sine squared. So it's sine theta squared theta. Um, square root of sine squared theta is sine theta. Sine theta on sine theta is just 1. Uh, this one here we need a common denominator. Made another little mistake. Made a few on this one. 
So that's just going to be, I'll make it sec theta minus 1, sec theta plus 1. So that's going to be sec theta minus 1, sec theta plus 1. And on top, we're going to do sec theta plus 1 times that one, and sec theta minus 1 on that one. So simplifying the top, you get 3 sec theta plus 3, plus 3 sec theta minus 3, all over, difference of 2 squared, so it's sec squared theta minus 1 squared, which is 1. The 3s go out, so you end up with 6 sec theta, and on the bottom here, sec squared theta minus 1, so we know sec squared theta equals tan squared theta plus 1, so if you bring the 1 over, sec squared theta minus 1 is just tan squared theta. So that's tan squared theta. Okay, so how do we actually simplify that? So that's sec squared theta divided by tan squared theta. Now tan squared theta is sine theta on cos squared cos theta. And sec is 1 over cos theta. So then we're going to turn the second one upside down because when you divide, you look to the right side, you flip it and you multiply it. So it's cos squared theta on sine squared theta. So this cos will cancel with one of those coses and you get cos squared, cos theta. So you get six cos theta on sine squared theta. If you bring the sine squared theta up to the top, it will become its reciprocal, which will be cos squared theta. And that's actually probably as far as you can go with these.